The Steelers wrestling with old ways and new ways. The new ways are get rid of everyone on the depth chart and go get three new quarterbacks. The old ways are QB1 is healthy, QB1 plays. I thought Russell Wilson was going to play last week. I thought the game against the Raiders was the perfect opportunity to reintroduce him to action, which would actually be his introduction as a Steelers quarterback. In advance of back-to-back prime time, everyone's watching Jets-Giants games at home. Get him ready, and then debut Russell Wilson in Pittsburgh. That's what is a little weird to me, that his first game will be high stakes Sunday night, NBC and Peacock, Aaron Rodgers coming to town if if Mike Tomlin decides to go with Russell Wilson. Yeah, it sounds like he's going to go with Russell Wilson. Remember before, at the beginning of the season, he wouldn't name the quarterback. He's kind of playing this game. And now it seems like there's an acknowledgement from everyone that Russell Wilson is the starting quarterback. And at 4-2, and two, if, you're, if you're Justin Fields, I know last week played the Raiders, uh, not a great opponent. And even though they won, he had some mistakes in the game. So you can't do that. Uh, Justin, still some turnovers, just some some fumbles, some weird stuff. At four and two, you got to feel pretty good about what Justin Fields has done for the Steelers. All things considered, your backup quarterback has you in contending position to turn it over to Russell Wilson. Uh, you you want to talk about a bump. Uh, the Steelers now get a nice bump to turn it over to their starting quarterback and their backup uh, did everything he could uh, pretty much to help them and, and, and put them in this position. And the key is to make this transition without it looking like a benching of Justin Fields, because I still think Justin Fields is the guy they hope will become the long-term option in part because he's a decade or more younger than Russell Wilson, who turns 36 next month. That's the key. Russell Wilson could be the better option. Now fields is the better option beyond this year. There's a chance both are back next year. There's a chance it's one or the other. There's a chance neither is back next year. That's what's so weird. These worlds are colliding between the way the Steelers have always done things. I've lived in and around Pittsburgh my entire life. I have a good sense of what they're thinking, what they're doing, how they do it. This this time now, especially at the quarterback position, feels unprecedented because ultimately I think what Mike Tomlin is trying to do is improve the offense just enough so that they'll be competitive in the postseason. It's been a long time since they won a playoff game. 2016, they're thinking and hoping it can end this year. If they make the right decision at quarterback, maybe it will. And uh, I'm glad you said unprecedented because I was thinking, I've never seen anything like this with the Steelers of comparable guys, of a pretty good, you know, both uh, you know, starters in the league. Like one of them's a first rounder. One of them's a Super Bowl champion. Uh, and and having them go back and forth like this and not really sure, not really certain about what the future holds. I mean, you got to go back. We were talking about Neil O'Donnell and Buddy uh, Bubby Brister before O'Donnell took over. I, I mean, I, I really can't think of a situation that the Steelers have had like this. You know, Ben Roethlisberger held the position for so many years, so you didn't have anything uh, that either Bill Cowher or Mike Tomlin had to go back and forth on. This this really is a, a brand new world for the Steelers. I can't think of an equivalent really in Steelers history to have Actually, a young guy like this and then a, a veteran who are both capable of starting. I'm remembering now, and this is from very early in my NFL fandom, there was a time when it was Terry Bradshaw, Terry Hanratty, and Joe Gillum. Gilliam at one point, Joe Gillum at another point as – the revolving doors in 73 Bradshaw had nine starts hand ready had four and Gillum had one in 74 Bradshaw had seven Gillum had six hand ready had one that season culminated in the Steelers winning their first ever Super Bowl over the Minnesota Vikings by the way the Steelers on Sunday night will be wearing their 1974 uniforms to commemorate the 50th anniversary of that first Super Bowl win 16 to 6 at Tulane Stadium over the Minnesota Vikings. Let's take a break. When we return, you know, I always say on Tuesday mornings, Jerry Jones rolls out of bed and does a radio broadcast, and it sounds like it. Well, he got up on the wrong side of the bed yesterday. We'll discuss that next on PFT Live. I 
it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.